have you heard of Google Analytics 4? It's basically a tool that businesses use to track and analyze data from their website or app. Hello everyone and welcome to this video on Google Analytics 4 by Intellipad. What's really cool about GA4 is that it's all about the user. Instead of looking at individual sessions, it looks at how users behave across different sessions and devices. This gives businesses a better understanding of their customers' journeys and how they interact with their website or app. Another neat thing about GA4 is that it uses machine learning and AI to provide more advanced insights and predictions. This can help businesses identify high-value segments and make data-driven decisions to improve their website or app performance. Overall, Google Analytics 4 is a really powerful tool for businesses to better understand their customers and make decisions based on data. So stay till the end to know more about Google Analytics 4 and we'll also show you how to implement it. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to receive regular updates from us. So let's talk about what is Google Analytics. Google Analytics is a free web analytics service offered by Google that helps website owners and app developers track and analyze user behavior and engagement. It allows businesses to understand how users interact with their website or app, including how many people visit, how long they stay, what pages they view, and what actions they take. Google Analytics provides a range of data and insights that can help businesses make data-driven decisions about their website or app, including which pages are performing well, what marketing campaigns are driving traffic, and which user segments are the most valuable. It also allows businesses to set up conversion tracking, which tracks when a user completes a specific action, such as making a purchase or filling out a form. Overall, Google Analytics is a powerful tool that can help businesses improve their website or app's performance and user experience by providing a deep understanding of user behavior and engagement. Now, what has changed in Google Analytics 4? Google Analytics 4 employs a very different data format and data collecting logic. Everything is now built around people and events rather than sessions as we've come to expect. Each user interaction is treated as a separate event in an events-based approach. This is a significant change because we previously depended on a session-based model that organized user interactions inside a certain time range. Moving the focus from sessions to events delivers significant benefits to marketers such as cross-platform analysis and increased pathing analytic capabilities. Google Analytics 4 is more adaptable and capable of predicting user behavior after switching to an event-based model. Now, should you make the switch to Google Analytics 4? The big question is whether you need to upgrade to Google Analytics 4 right now. Yes, in a nutshell. Create a Google Analytics 4 property to run with Universal Analytics. If you're looking for more advanced insights and predictions, Google Analytics 4 might be worth exploring. It uses machine learning and AI to provide more sophisticated data analysis and it's designed to be more user-centric, giving a better picture of user behavior and engagement. Additionally, if you're just starting out with the website or app analytics, it might be a good idea to start with Google Analytics 4. You can get started with it the right way and it will likely be the standard tool in the future. That being said, it's important to note that Google Analytics 4 is still relatively new and some features may still be in development or not yet available. Additionally, there may be a learning curve if you're used to universal analytics. So before making the switch, it's a good idea to do some research, evaluate your needs, and consider whether Google Analytics 4 is the right tool for you. Now we'll look at how to set up Google Analytics 4. So setting up Google Analytics 4 is as simple as a few mouse clicks. The analytics property you're used to will remain unaltered and continue to collect data. Your universal analytics view will remain accessible through the admin screen. So now we'll look at some of the steps to configure GA4. The first step is to log into your Google Analytics account. So for that, I'm going to go ahead and search Google Analytics. All right. So as we can see, this is the search result that we're going to be accessing. So as you can see, I have logged into my Google Analytics account using my regular Google email ID. So we're going to click on. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill up some basic details and quickly set up our account. So for that, I've put my account name as GA4 setup and going to click on next. 
So this is a very important step. Creating your property name is absolutely important. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a property name. Let's call it Intellipart GA4. All right. So here is where you basically enter your website name and the reporting time zone in order to see that it matches, you know, the analytics that you are doing. So, all right, we have set up the reporting time zone and currency along with our property name. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click next here. All right, so move, coming to business details. So you'll have to select whatever is your preferred industry category. So, if it's not listed out here, you can simply click on other business activity and the business size coming to the business size. You can choose either small, medium, large or very large depending on the business size that you are having right now. So I'll just choose small and we're going to click next. So what you can basically do here in this fourth step is that you can choose your business objectives. So you're going to personalize all the metrics according to your business needs. So I'm going to go ahead and randomly click on whatever I think is necessary. All right. So make sure to change your region here as well. And accepting all the terms and conditions. And our account is almost set up. So what we're going to do is we're going to start collecting data for our website or app. So we have to choose from which one we'll be collecting data. So I'm going to choose web. So if you choose web, you'll have to give a website name. So let's say www.testsite.com because we are not actually using a website today. And we're going to call it, let's say YouTube tutorial. And we're going to create a stream. And as you can see, you will have some stream IDs and measurement IDs and all of that. And you can install Google tag using the tag manager. And you can just copy and paste this code for your tag account and you will be linking both of them there. So this is pretty much our analytics setup. So what we can do is we can go ahead and click next and we're going to go home. All right. So to create more properties or to edit your properties, you can go here and click the gear symbol, which is across admin. So we're going to click admin. And as you can see, we have already created in Telepad GA4. So that is the property we have right now. So to set up your uh, GA4 assistant or the Google Analytics 4 assistant, so you're going to click on set up assistant. And as you can see, we've already done a few things but not entirely. So what you can do is you can go ahead and manage your data streams, turn on your Google signals and all of that. So you can manage all of these according to your liking and according to whatever your business needs. So I'm just going to show you how to create a simple property here. So again, we click on create property. And like we've already discussed in the previous step, we're going to get a pop-up with all the property name and everything and the reporting time zone, the currency or whatever. And this is how you set up your property basically. And when you link your IDs to your tag manager or your tags. So this is pretty much about creating an account and setting up your Google Analytics properties and everything. So using other Google products like tag manager will really set up your Google Analytics account. So this is pretty much a very easy to follow process, I hope. So let's move on. So now that we've learned how to set up our Google account, let's move on to the conclusion. So Google Analytics is a valuable tool for business and website owners to track and analyze user behavior and engagement. It provides a range of data and insights that can help businesses make data-driven decisions about their website or app, including identifying high-value segments and optimizing their marketing campaigns. While there are different versions of Google Analytics available, including the newer Google Analytics 4, the tool remains an essential part of any website or app's owner's toolkit. By using Google Analytics, businesses can gain a deeper understanding of their users and ultimately improve their website 
or app's performance and user experience. And with that, we come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Just a quick info, guys. Intel Path provides an advanced certification in digital marketing and analytics course by CCE IIT Madras. You will get to learn from IIT Madras faculty and industry experts. Reach out to us to know more.